This is a tutorial to show you how to create a vector design dinosaur. Right, I'm using various applications such as Poser. Now you might be able to use something like uh, the DAS tool. Um, it's, uh, I'm using dinosaurs, they're from Content Paradise. It's a dinosaur uh, bundles pack. Right, I've actually done the rendering already. I've just selected the dinosaur from uh, the various library of figures. So I've just created that. And I've just gone to the standard menu, Render. I've just rendered it, just obviously change the pose, whatever, using the usual features of Poser. So you can just render it like that. Export, file export, and I've just saved it to a PNG. So I'm just going to save it there, PNG. Yes, and save that. Now I'm going to go to a really good application that uh, can sort of create weird, amazing different effects and, and designs. So I'm just going to just go here, file. It's a new project already, so I'm just going to load that image. So there's the dinosaur there. Now, as soon as you've done that, you can actually go to Styles, and then there's just vast numbers of styles you can apply to that. Uh, so you can double click on the, the style, so you can just create a sort of pencil sketch designs and drawing designs. There's a whole loads of different marker, pastel designs, chalk, you know, charcoal, chalk, different building blocks, graphic art. So you can actually sort of Manga designs, black and white comic, etc., etc. So, so that's uh, graphic arts. One of my favourite ones for doing uh, certainly creating a quick vector illustration is the black, yellow, and white. So I'm just going to double click on that. You can actually obviously modify your own. So you can actually go to the style editor and then you can create your own style by modifying the bits uh, using the style editor. Right. So I'm just going to go to that. Go to properties and then change the balance for the thing. So the default is not, so you can actually see it, so it just becomes like a silhouette. So create a slightly thicker line. Copy, copy that design. Now go to Illustrator. So there's Illustrator. And next thing, paste it in. And then go to the Live Trace. Click on that. So you can then change the threshold if you wish, and there's lots of different settings, so you can make more or less of the design in, modify it in numerous ways. So expand, and expand again. I always like to that final expand. Now, you might actually have a bounding path around this, so it's actually a sort of thing, so you might have to go to Object, Ungroup, select that, and I say select, same, fill strokes, all of the basically no fill, no stroke is actually selected, and then delete. So now you should actually have just the basic path. So I'm just going to go to Pathfinder, and I want to unite all that. So that design now is just a basic vector design dinosaur. So uh, now you could, of course, if you wish, you can go then copy that and paste it into like Photoshop and use it maybe as a layer or uh, a smart layer. And all those sort of things, or maybe paste it into uh, things like Font Lab, use it to create a font, um, or put it into Corel Draw, or those sort of things. Right, so that's basic, create a quick design, dinosaur design.